Porters with two fine goals and an excellent overall display against Hibs at the weekend. And he'll be a key man of a European miracle as to be worked tonight. But while Rangers expect to be on the attack, they will have to beware Darko Panchev, the quick silver striker who scored in the first leg and then picked up a hat-trick playing for Yugoslavia last week in the European Championships. So there's the Rangers team. Graham Sunis has been handicapped by the non-availability of men like Kuznetsov, Johnston, Ferguson, Harlock and Haustra for a variety of reasons. But John Brown is back in defence and there's a place for David Dodds as an attacking midfield player. And Red Star field exactly the same 11 who were so impressive two weeks ago in Belgrade, which means no place for Dejan Safisevic, who was held in reserve in the bench. But there are seven other internationals in that starting lineup. And the referee tonight, Mr. Bo Carlson from Sweden. So a number of gaps in the stands for the match tonight. The crowd perhaps a little over 30,000 reflecting some pessimism about Rangers' prospects. And you can be certain that Rangers will try to get off to a very quick start of the match. You see these gaps behind the Red Star goalkeeper, Stefan Stojanovic. And though there's a clutch of supporters from Belgrade behind that goal, the goalkeeper reckoned to be a potential weak link in the Red Star defence. So Spackman's header. Gately using his aerial power and Belodic backed off him there. Good play there by the fullback Radinovic. Sensible refereeing also. There's Tozic. Binic with a shot. And an early warning for Rangers. They cannot at all be cavalier going forward without considering the defence. This was fine play again, set up by Stozic, a shot by Binic, and that was good goalkeeping by Woods. So let's start again, seeing plenty of the ball early on. Binic brought down by Brown. That's towards Panchev, that's won by Stevens for Rangers. Stevens again looking for Haitley. Almost misjudged in the air by Naidoshki. In goes Goff. This is Speckman. He has Walters on the left. A buzz of anticipation for Walters as he goes forward. The cross was out of the reach of Belodic, but fell kindly for Red Star. Well, an encouraging opening bust there from Mark Walters. Picked up again by Brown. There's Haitley. So Rangers promised to play the match as much as possible in the Red Star half. That's certainly how it's turning out. Naidoshki with a header, very determined customer in defence. Uh, there's a problem there for Spackman, clashing with Stozic in midfield. The Swedish referee quickly to the danger point. And the free kick goes to Rangers. Well, these opening moments could turn out to be crucial. The whole complexion of the tie could change if Rangers could snatch an early goal. Goff joins the attack. And a chance for Spackman. Working very hard to keep that shot down. But if he's given a goal kick, but it was Richard Goff's intrusion into the penalty area where he set this up. Challenging well inside the penalty box. The header out, falling straight to Spackman, an awkward one to take on the run. So here's Goff. Missed by Maravich. Back from Steven to Goff. This is Trevor Steven. Finding space down the left for Rangers. 
Great turn of pace there by Steven going inside. Trying to get away from Jugovic. Helped by Spackman. This is Monroe. Stevens playing it forwards. And Rangers allowing Stuart Monroe to push forward into midfield. He's over on the right at the moment in possession now. That's towards Haitley. Stojanovic in trouble and a brave diving save by the keeper in the end. The Yugoslav players expressing their concern about the challenge made by Walters, but that certainly isn't justified. And the goalkeeper now going down, clutching his right eye. He couldn't hold out the first time, the ball was free as Walters came in, and Walters appeared to me to be extremely careful there, not to do any damage. Brown's header finds Stephen in midfield. That's Haitley. Now Walters. Haitley's broken on the left. Challenge was made there by Maravich. Here's Spackman. Taking on Stozic. Determined play there by Spackman. The referee allows play to continue. And Spackman earns a free kick. Trying to suggest to Radinovic that the game is played with the ball. And the referee saw things Spackman's way, so Mark Walters will take this free kick. Queuing up in the middle now for Rangers. There's Walters. Headed down and appeals for handball. Well, McCoy is incensed about that, but... There's no penalty decision given. Let's check this again as Walters plays the ball in. The header was made there. There was a bit of work carried out by Vladic on golf. There's a problem now for Rangers. Well, that would surely have ended the match out of the contest. Jugovic with a flying header. Well, Rangers caught here by the pace of Binic on the right, flighting that across to Jugovic coming in the far post, heading that wide. And Spackman this time is penalised, complaining bitterly to the referee, but he did lift his foot and show his studs, and that, in a European context, usually guarantees a free kick. Radinevski with the free kick. Radinovic offering himself on the right. Oh, good play by Radinovic. What a fine player he is. There's Panchev. Well, happily for Rangers, matched by another athlete in the form of Gary Stevens. And Stevens now trying to create something coming forward. Haitley with a delicate layoff towards Dodds. Not a bad effort that by Dodds. The switch in the roles there. McCoy playing up beside Haitley, allowing Dodds to drop off. And Haitley did very well indeed with the layoff. Just look at the quality of that pass from Mark Haitley. Dodds had one thought in mind now, and that was to test goalkeeper Stojanovic. Walter's going to touch a foul on Haitley. Well, that case, case they've been more obvious. Najdoshki trying to claim he was being backed into, but that clearly wasn't the case. Mark Walters and Trevor Steven over the free kick. Walters could attempt a shot at goal. That's what he did. There's David Dodds. With a good effort, that by Dodds. He had to be very careful indeed to keep that shot under control. It broke off the defence there across two dodge. Look how high the ball was. He was trying very hard to keep it under the crossbar. It would have been very easy to lash this wildly over the top and Dodge using his experience trying to guide that into the top corner. Right headed by Nadoski. Set up by Haitley for Steven. Spackman did well, he read that from Maravich. And a bad tackle there on Spackman. Taken right out of the play there by Nidoski. And the referee surely will take action against the Red Star defender. This is a blatant foul, just watch this. 
Put it by Manovic. Spackman did it well. Then played the pass. Went for the return, and Najdoski there just took him right out of the play. Trevor Steven and Mark Walters over the free kick. Walters delivered a special on Saturday against Hibbs. Well won by Najdoski. Here's Prozdenetsky. Trying to set up a Yugoslav retaliating attack, but picked up by Spackman. Here's Walters. Into space now for McCoist. An error by the goalkeeper, but no luck for Rangers. Well, this is good play from Rangers. Played forward by Mark Walters. A good run made by McCoist. The first time shot on the volley. Should have been easy for the keeper. He almost fumbled that into the net. A further encouragement there for Rangers about the quality of the goalkeeping on show here from Red Star. There goes Goff with Haitley. They went for the same ball. Monroe did well, lofting that away from Prozanecki. Here's Trevor Steven. That's delightful control. Now Walters trying to get to the byline. Being denied that opportunity by some excellent defending by Rodinovic. Quick, determined fullback, the number two. Long throw from Gary Stevens. Goffs in the thick of it. Shot from Steven, well controlled, but blocked. And good play here by Zabanadzevic. This is Tozic. An obvious one, which was read by Brown. Jugovic trying to make headway with Stozic, but Spackman collects. He's worked very hard indeed for Rangers in midfield so far in the match. Stevens control put to the test there. This is McCoist. Walters made a run on the left. Challenge at full stretch there by Marovic. Rangers appear to have picked up the pace a little in the last five minutes or so. Back with John Brown. There's Spackman. Steven. Stevens had to get there ahead of Kozanecki. That could have been dangerous. Here's Gary Stevens. Fine effort by Stevens. Well, that would have been his first goal of the season, and how welcome it would have been for the Rangers supporters. Almost a loose pass here, causing a problem, but Stevens was quick enough to get there at Pranatsky, and then he had the chance to go striding forward. So a foul on Haitley by Naidoshki. Played in there by John Brown. Haitley doing well again, and that'll be a corner kick to Rangers. A late opportunity now in the first half to Scored an opening goal. There's Trevor Stephen. Haitley comes to meet that. Well, he's unhappy with that, Mark Haitley. It's his 29th birthday today, and he's looking to celebrate in style. Certainly got a free header at this. Got up well, headed it down, but the keeper was in the right position. Well, Rangers prefer to play a passing game through midfield. They've been forced to release passes early, get them into the opposing box. There's Spackman. Mark Haitley bringing it down. Touched away there by Belodoric. So, Haitley again. Proving his danger to the defence. Didn't control that the way he intended. Mark Walters this time with the corner kick. Haitley coming at the far post. Couldn't get to that ahead of Belodic. And it's Red Star coming clear again. Here's Stozic. Richard Goff turning that back to his goalkeeper. That brings the first half to an end. A first half in which Mark Haitley has battled manfully up front. 
on his 29th birthday for Rangers, but without finding the way past the determined Red Star defence. So at half-time, Rangers fans looking a little bit disconsolate. It's Rangers nil, Red Star nil. So at the start of the second half, a couple of substitutions being made. Kalogerovic is going to replace Stojanovic in the Red Star goal. You got a glimpse there too of Sandy Robertson, who has come on in place of Davy Dodds for Rangers in midfield. So Rangers still facing a mammoth task. It's becoming more and more difficult with every passing moment now. They certainly threatened on a number of occasions in the first half. And now they have a new goalkeeper to contend with. Stojanovic with a head injury, not coming out for the second half as Gary Stevens launches that long throw in. And Rangers will be anxious to test the replacement goalkeeper as soon as they can. Maravic turns it back. Khalid Jirovic takes over. He certainly warmed up throughout the interval. Trying to get a feel of the atmosphere in the stadium. Well, John Brown. McCoyst losing his bearings for a second. Rangers opening up with Mark Walters on the right flank for the second half. Hakeley through the middle, McCoyst on the left. They still have Monroe marking for the next game. Sandy Robertson, though, is invited to demonstrate his creative talents in midfield. And that certainly was an area which Rangers really left to Stephen in the first half with Nigel Spackman's strength, but the craft we're looking for may come from Robertson. Richard Goff certainly will have to find a way to inspire his team to even greater heights if they're to do anything before the end. Here's Spackman. Now John Brown. Rodonetsky holding off Monroe. This is Panchev. Benic appearing on the right. He's on his feet still. He appeared to be caught there, yes. The referee has given the free kick for the challenge by John Brown. Benic tried to keep on his feet. And Chris Woods wants him back up. There's Benic. And Brown certainly fouled him outside the area. It was a calculated foul, which indeed it may well have resulted in the eyes of many referees in a yellow card being shown the referee having allowed Benic the chance to stay on his feet and score now gives Red Star a free kick John Brown in some pain also so Red Star looking for the away goal which would end the match decisively as a contest Oh, that wasn't far away. Chris Woods was scrambling across. Undoubtedly surprised by that free kick from Prozanecki, who scored one in the first leg. Plays that over the wall. It's swerving all the time, and in fact, it's quite well wide of goal. There's Haitley. Jugovic. Najdoshki. Radinovic. Good run made by Stozic. Taken out of the play by Goff. It's a free kick to Red Star. And Richard Goff, who appears to be still somewhat inconvenienced by a chest injury he took early in the match, perhaps in the area of the ribs. Clashed with Stozic early on, and he doesn't appear to have recovered fully. That's alarming for Rangers. Brodonetsky to Sabinadzevic. Brodonetsky is away from Monroe. Playing it in low, but that's food and drink for Chris Woods. with the header, turned back quickly by Sabiradzevic under pressure from Robertson. A 
there is certainly some anxiety on the Rangers bench enough to bring Scott Nisbet out of the dugout to do some warming up Red Star continue in their controlled fashion tackle made by Spackman and Prozanecki Nevradinovic that's intercepted by Steven a chance now for Rangers there's Walters Perhaps the clearest chance of the match so far for Rangers. And Walters couldn't take it. Well, this is great play here by Trevor Stephen. Threading right through for Walters. He had time to set himself. And the shot goes well wide. Well, Mark Walters will not be happy about this when he sees it again. He certainly will feel he should have hit the target. So Tom Cohen there on the bench. Walter Smith with some instructions. So it's Red Star again on the attack with Vinic. He's away from Richard Goff. Here's Prozanecki. With the break of the ball from Monroe. And that's Panchev! And that undoubtedly settles it for Red Star Belgrade. And the Yugoslav supporters in the stadium, elated by that, and it really was a top-quality goal from an outstanding striker. Well, look at the way Binic takes on Richard Goff here. Goff clearly does appear to be handicapped. He couldn't make any real challenge there. Binic lofted it across. Now, Prozanecki working hard here to get the break of the ball from Stuart Munro, there were appeals for handball, lofting it across, they look at the control with the header, then the left foot volley, and Woods couldn't keep it out. Well, Red Star Belgrade have proved themselves to be a quality side in Europe, and here is striking to match. So there's going to be a change made by Rangers again, and it is Scott Nisbet who's coming off and the wrong card has been shown the number five was held up but it is Richard Goff who has gone off and Scott Nisbet who has gone on Stephen leaves it to Spikeman Nisbet playing that along the ground up towards Robertson and the Maravich was quickly in with a tackle a good mobile defender Maravich Twice in the Yugoslavian squad. This Spackman and Sandy Robertson. Here's a header by McCoy. The consolation for Rangers. Ali McCoy collects his tenth goal of the season, and this was. Beautifully set up by Nigel Spikeman. Look at the way he clips this cross in. McCoy gets up very well indeed. He comes on the top of his head. The goalkeeper went down early. And Rangers have equalised on the night. It's a good cross this from Spikeman. Two defenders and the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper caught in no man's land as McCoy got his head to the ball. Well, McCoy always enjoys scoring, but it may well have come much too late to make any impression on this tie. So a bit of pride restored there by that goal. Sandy Robertson quickly in with a tackle too. Here goes Walters. Can Rangers do it again? Hatley and McCoy wait in the middle. There's McCoy. Well, great play from Rangers, and you have to admire the determination and the courage displayed here. Walters skipping past his man, playing in a tremendous cross. There was McCoy. The goalkeeper was well beaten but it comes off the upright. Well, Haitley, perhaps the more dangerous target you would have expected, but look how well McCoy gets up to that. Yes, Spackman. Slavonadzevic brings it out. This is Pozanecki. Oh, brought down there badly by Nisbet. 
Well, a rash, clumsy, frustrated tackle by the youngster. Here's Prozanecki again. Running into Robertson. Spikeman to Walters. McCoy's calling for the ball inside. There's McCoy and Haitley. That appeared to be beautifully timed for Ali McCoy. Well, what an amazing comeback from Rangers. So well out of things. Likely to go further behind, then drawing in all the reserves of stamina and courage to equalise and then threaten the Red Star goal on two further occasions. A foul by Brown. Well, that really was a magnificent move once again. Walters again, the inspiration on the right, trying to judge the pass inside. McCoy's making it on just out of reach, and Haithley couldn't get on the end of it. And there's another chance for Red Star. It was Panchev. Well, he can manage a smile after missing that one, but had it been important, I'm sure he would have been in distress. There's his opportunity, and he really would have expected to score. Down from Walters to Spikeman. Stephen won't reach that. And indeed, Trevor Stephen appeared to go over on his ankle there. Well, that's all Rangers need tonight. Going out of the European Cup and seeing a lot of players suffering from injuries, the latest Trevor Stephen, and that would be a major blow to Rangers' prospects. They have Chris Woods heavily strapped in goal. Richard Goff had to go off. John Brown been limping throughout the second half. And Trevor Stephen, though, the cause of some anxiety. There's Gary Stevens. Haithley going back to get involved in some build-up play, but there's no more action in the European Cup this season for Rangers. Darko Panchev scored a magnificent goal for Red Star to settle the issue early in the second half. And Red Star at that stage looked as though they may go on and score more, but Rangers hold themselves back by their courage and determination. And Ali McCoy snatched a late goal with a header to attach some respectability to the score and restore some honour and pride. But Rangers, in the end, were crushed in Belgrade and had no way of coming back tonight against a team of the highest quality. The score tonight, Rangers 1, Red Star Belgrade 1.